Colombia has an incredible variety of tropical fruits and in this video I'm going to show you 18 tropical fruits that I've encountered throughout my journey. These are of course not all the fruits that are available, there's many more to it and maybe I'll do a part 2 of this video. So we're starting with the first fruit, which is called curuba. Um, it's also called taxo in some Spanish-speaking countries, but in Colombia they call it curuba. This is a banana passion fruit, because as you can see it has the shape of a banana, but the inside looks like a passion fruit. Big surprise there. This fruit is very sweet and tart, and you basically just eat it out of hand. You peel it and you just eat the seeds from inside or you can of course also make them into a juice if you want. The next fruit that's up is maracuya or in English passion fruit. Um, this variety of passion fruit is probably a Brazilian golden passion fruit. There's many different varieties and this fruit is mostly eaten in juices because it's sweet but also very tart and sometimes not too sweet so you kind of need to add other fruits or most likely sugar to it and you just cut it open or break it open with your fingers and there's the little passion fruit seeds that look very similar to the ones from what you've just seen from the banana passion fruit but a very sweet variety is this one which is granadilla this is also from the passion fruit family and this one has a very hard shell that you can really just break open with your fingernails. And people usually eat it here in Colombia just on the street like as a snack, the same way you would like eat a banana or eat an apple, they just eat a granadilla. This one is, as I said, very sweet. I love this one the most because it is the sweetest. And you just peel the skin off a bit and just eat it with a spoon or with your hand, out of hand basically. And another passion fruit variety is um, Badea, also called Giant Granadilla. As you can see, this is quite gigantic, as big as my hand. But there's not too much to it. You basically slice it open because it has a big ass shell. And the inside is not too much, but the taste is quite interesting. It is sweeter than the maracuja, then the passion fruit, but not as sweet as granadilla, so this is just a nice variety to have every once in a while. Another really cool fruit is guayaba pink guavi. Um, I like this fruit a lot in juices, not really as it is. You can cut it whatever way you want, you can eat the peel as well if you want, but you can just cut off the peel as well, so there's really not any real rules how to eat that fruit but it should be pink it should be uh, a bit soft when it's ripe and then you just slice it open or you just throw it in a blender with some water and make a nice juice out of it and that's basically it it tastes sweet it has a kind of crispy i don't know the consistency is kind of crispy it's not really creamy the t like the texture of the fruit and the seeds are very very hard like you can't bite them you just swallow them or spit them out or filter them in case you want to make like a really really nice juice and this is a fruit that most of you probably have seen before cactus fig or prickly pear a hegel or ego, ego, that's the ego fruit. So if you're really selfish, you should have a go and have this fruit. Um, be careful, you can see how I touched this like with my fingertips because um, it's coming from a cactus. I actually ate these like from a cactus when I was in Spain, but here I just bought them in the store. There's red ones, orange ones, and yellow ones. 
these are orange and you just scoop out the flesh with a spoon or with your knife but as I said be careful you don't want these little things in your fingers or in your tongue now this is a fruit that most of you have probably never seen before because it is native to Colombia and only available in Colombia this fruit is called lulo and when you slice it open I think it looks super pretty from the inside Da, 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 da. It's kind of green, orangey, and this is not a sweet fruit. This is actually very, a very sour fruit, and they make juice out of it mostly. I've never seen it served in a different manner, but juice. So, and when they make juice, the people do make sure they add enough sugar to it to kind of deal with the acidity of this fruit. Because I cannot eat this pure. I ate it in the fruit salad as well. Not really pure fruit salad or sugar. With sugar and a juice. The next fruit is my absolutely favorite fruit. It's nispero or called loquat in English. But I think the loquats I've seen in North America and Europe, they look a lot different. I've eaten some in Portugal. And these here, they don't look yellow from the outside. They look brown from the outside. They must be soft when they're ripe. And they are very, very, very sugary. And I don't know if they're high in calories, but I can only eat like eight or nine of them. This one is actually very ripe. The first one, not too ripe, but this one is very ripe. There's a few seeds in them. Some people say it's three seeds, but I have some with only one, some with five. And it really tastes like, like crystalline sugar. I don't know, it's so sugary, it's like you're eating spoonfuls of sugar but with a fruity taste. So I really love this fruit but I can't eat too much of them, which is okay I guess, the fruit's just telling you to stop. But yeah, this is it, super delicious, one of my favorite fruits here in Colombia. And another favorite, mangostino, mangosteen, the queen of all fruits. I just find this fruit so pretty from the outside and from the inside. It's not really possible to crack it open, mostly with the fingers. Sometimes it is when they're bigger, but when they're smaller, it's better to use a knife or something. And when you do cut them open, there's some beautiful white flesh on the inside. There's, I think, one seed in each fruit, and it tastes it's very watery. And it is sweet, but as I said, I'm really bad in describing taste, so you just have to give this one a try, I'm sorry. Another fruit that I love is pitaya, sometimes called pitahaya, or in English, dragon fruit. Pitaya is one of my favorite fruits as well, but I told you many times before, this one really, really helps with digestion, and if you eat too much of it, it probably helps you a bit too much with digestion but yeah as you can see it's a very juicy fruit and I love its texture and the taste it's just I don't know it's amazing it looks great on fruit salads and fr fruit platters or something like this just because it looks not really like a zebra but it, it looks kind of different like a super tropical fruit from the inside and from the outside and I just love to eat them as they are, like as a mono meal or something. Next fruit is carambola star fruit. This one you probably have seen before, but I must say I've never eaten this fruit ripe in Europe. They usually put this like on cocktail glasses or something because it looks pretty, but then I never ate it because they always use the unripe ones, of course. So they should be dark orange or dark yellow and they should not have any green tips on the fruit then they're ripe and that's when they actually taste like a really tasty good fruit so only have them ripe and as you can see they're really nice for decoration I like mono meals of them as well but also in fruit salads in vegetable salads as well I like them a lot in dressings uh, it's a sweet fruit. Um, yeah, interesting interesting taste, but sorry, you gotta try it yourself. 
Another fruit that I first came across here in South America is tomate de arbol, or tree tomato. There's two different kinds that I'm going to show you in this video. This is the red one, and it looks super interesting from the inside. I just love how beautiful nature is. But with tree tomatoes, it's a really funny thing because... I ate them last year several times and I absolutely hated them. I don't even know why I tried them, probably just because I was like, yeah, it's something new, you should have it. And I had them in the form of juices and the form just like eat it out of the hand. But I never liked it. And then I came across a video where this one guy said, well, with tree tomatoes is like that. You have to eat a certain amount of it until you start liking them. And I discovered the same phenomenon, so I ate quite a bunch of them, and then after like four or five fruits, I started liking them. So now this red variety is one of my favorites. And this is the next one. This is the yellow tree tomato, tomate de abor amarillo. I look kind of orange, but it's called yellow. So basically the same thing, but different color inside. But I think the red ones look a lot prettier. These ones are not as sweet. I think that's just my opinion. But again, you probably have to eat like quite a few of them to really figure out whether you like them or not. But for me, I like the red ones a lot better. But as you can see, you just slice them open, peel them. Maybe you can eat the peel actually as well, but people here typically make juices out of them. I just sometimes eat them the way they are, or also in green salads. Another fruit which I've never tried before anywhere else but here in Colombia is called papayuela. It's kind of star-shaped from the outside, and when you cut it open... Da -da -da -da. Well, it looks like a papaya, kind of. That's why it's probably called papaya and abuela, which is the grandmother of all papayas. Now, these are just made up, but um, yeah, you just scoop out the seeds from the middle and you eat the flesh from the outside. This fruit I don't really like too much. It has it tastes kind of bland. It's not really sweet. It's not really acidy. It's kind of boring. Nevertheless, I did wanted to try it and wanted to mention it in this video because maybe someone else likes this fruit. But, yeah, you have to try it again. It's kind of bland, not too crazy. Another crazy combination of fruits is this pepino melon, or I guess cucumber melon, because I don't know if it really is, but the taste is really a cross of cucumber and melon. And it looks like a melon, kind of, from the inside. Well, not really. Well, it looks more like a cucumber from the inside. Green. Um, a few seeds, which you can easily take out, and you don't eat the peel. Cucumber peels you can eat, but mango peels you can't, so there's this combination again. Ooh, so tricky. But it really, t like, the taste is literally cucumber crossed with melon. Very interesting. And I just eat that like a cucumber. And, I mean, cucumber belongs to the melon family, because if you slice open a cucumber... Like, in its length, it totally looks like a melon. So, duh, this is totally legit. And another amazing fruit, wana wana. I love this fruit, soursop. So, this is an awesome fruit that I definitely hit, have to eat many, many, many more times than I usually do. But, the thing is, it's very big. Well, you can buy like halves and parts of it but if you buy one you have a lot of food and you just pull it apart with a fork like I do here or with your fingers and it's a lot of food and there's tons of seeds in there as you can see and these seeds are really 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 hard to get out so you like with your fingers it's hardly not possible to do if you do it with your teeth, it's still not too easy, honestly. Like, it takes quite a bit to eat that fruit. That's why I usually didn't eat it in the past, because it's so time-consuming. As you can see here, trying to pop out the seeds with my fingers is quite hard. But you get a lot of food with this one single fruit, which is quite cool. 
and it has a very very sweet taste it's watery but sweet so and it's very very satiating and a very similar fruit is chirimoya which kind of looks the same but you see from the outside it's a bit different it's usually a lot smaller and when you cut it open you can see there's definitely not as many seeds in there and the flesh is a lot creamier it's not as watery and you don't really have these separate cells you just have one mass of creaminess and you can just pull it apart with your fingers that also means it is ripe and the taste is also not just creamier well creamy is not really describing it taste well but I find it to be a lot sweeter and I actually like Chirimoya a lot more than Wanawana but both of them are awesome fruits and the last one number 20 is Fejoa Fejoa is this little green booger you can cut it this way then you see like a beautiful shape on the inside of the fruit when it is slightly brown kind of like this or like darkish gray brown it actually means it's super sweet and ripe then you can just eat it like that or you make juices out of it or mono meals or whatever the hell you want this one is not too ripe it looks prettier because it's not turned brown yet but it's not too ripe and then it's a bit acidy but if they're super ripe they're actually very sweet and I like to make like fake green juices out of them with fejo and banana it looks like it's a green juice but it's just a green fruit juice basically or you just eat them pure <laughs>